Hello guys, so I'm just on my way to the train station, I've got my bag and my outfit and all, you know, my lovely weave, first time out in public, public with this weave, obviously back home, so lovely, um, yes, I was quite, like, trying to keep quiet there because, you know, it was first thing in the morning and the fam were all in bed and isn't it always the way that, you know, when your parents are in bed you have to sound like a mouse and whenever you're in bed, I mean, it's like, Elephants prowling through the house, you know, <laughs> always the way. So yeah, I was just keeping quiet on their behalf because I'm a good person. So I'm on my way to the train station. I'm the only one on the street because it's quarter to seven in the morning and I am not a wise person. So yep, um, it's not too bad of a day. It's very casted over and it probably will rain and there's me dressed to the nines. So yep. But yeah, I will see you all when I'm at the station. Hello guys, so I'm now on the train on my way to Primar, well Belfast. And yeah, I didn't record when I was at the station just because I kind of forgot. <laughs> I was focused on trying to get my ticket before I got on the train because I didn't know how it was reworking, so it's kind of caught up with doing that. So hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm now on the train. On my way to Belfast, nice country views because I live in North Ireland, so yes, and it's completely empty. So yeah, but it is again, what quarter to yeah half seven in the morning, so all good. So nice quiet tree in. I put my music in. I've got my water bottle and also a snack in there as well because you know I'm prepared for today. So yeah, I will go and. Enjoy all that, and I will see you once I arrive in Belfast. Good morning, guys. I have now arrived in Belfast. I'm at the station. It is completely different. All of the seats have been moved, like every single part of the seating has been taken away and it's just a complete open space now because you have the train section like the train station where i come in and then you have the bus station as you go around the corner all of that i'll see if i can show you like all of that that's the bus station all of the seating there has been took away and then around there where the train is all the seating around there has been took away so it's just one big empty space now um which makes sense i suppose um saves them having to tape every other seat off so yeah, it turns out as well that Primor doesn't actually until 10, so it's 9 o'clock and I'm not here an hour early, but hey, we are okay because you know what, that gives me an hour to queue and make sure I'm first in. So yes, I'm going to go to the toilet, wait here for a bit and then I'll head down, so yeah. But you know what, we can do this, it's all good, it's all part of the day, so yes. Um, yeah, other than that everything is fine it's just so weird seeing it like empty and there's also police walking about and everything so it's so you know different but this is the new normal you know this is what we have to get used to when we get the tree in we literally come straight off go straight down one way out another you know it's going to be all about one way systems and everything like that now so yeah it's just the new normal so it's better to brace it now and get used to it Hello guys, so I have successfully made it to Victoria Square after being to the two Primarks as we have two due to a fire burning down our original Primark so they were able to rescue the back and keep it as it was so then they turned the um, second building that they own into the second part of it so the main back part is the women's and um, all of it and then in the second Primark is the home, the men's and the children's. So I've been to both Primarks, all was successful, it was very, very good. I will talk to you about it later on, as I am obviously in the shopping center and people think I'm really weird, but oh well. So yep, yeah, I'm probably going to now just head about here for a bit, see what 
uh, I probably look really awkward but um, head about here see what's open in Victoria Square and then I will yeah I'm probably head for the train depending um, I don't think I need to go back to Primark thank goodness I bought the whole place out I've got everything so I'll do a haul for you later um, so yeah that's the next point of plan and then I'm not really hungry at the minute so when I get hungry I will look for something to eat but at the minute I'm not really hungry so yeah so we will see we'll just take it as it comes it's my day out to go shopping so yes all good So I'm now on the train and we've just left York Gate Station. Now I have my mask but I've obviously took it off to record and also I'm in this like carriage section myself so yes. Um, so yeah, it was a successful day, very successful day. I got three bags of Primark bought um, as you saw but also with the weather they kind of ripped in the middle of the street and I had to hook everything into a top man bag and a Charlie Bear bag. I was just so lucky I had the Charlie Bear bag and I also had the top man bag from the shirt that I obviously bought. So I had to stuff everything in in the middle of the street and everything was so wet and dirty and oh my god it was so embarrassing guys. That's the problem when you go shopping on a rainy day with Primark bags. They literally rip and it's so embarrassing. Oh my god, I was doing it in front of cars and everything and I just thought oh my days. I had every, I had underwear and everything. Mm, it was not nice. So anyway, sorry. Um, it was a very successful day. Went to Top Man as well. So I will do my haul when I get home. Got some presents for the fam because you know I'm a great person. So yes, and I've been sending you know Snapchats to all my friends, telling them how Primark has been set up and how it is because they're going to go in the next few days. They're going to go in the next few days themselves. So I telling them how it went and it literally was just like a regular pre-mark day because it was fine you queued up to get in and then you sanitized and then that was it there was no rushing around there was no um feeling like you were rushed and watched in the shop the only thing you can try anything on so you had to know your size but it just it was fine it literally felt grand and then you were talking to the cashiers as you normally do so yeah Far a few changes, it just felt like a regular shopping day. Because I went in and out twice to each one, because we have two. And it felt fine. So honestly, it was grand. So yeah, it's a very good day. I'm on my way home now, try everything on, <laughs> since I couldn't before. So yeah. So I'm now back from Belfast and I've just put my wee cardigan on because it is quite chilly. So yep, I'm going to do my haul, try everything on. So yes, I will go ahead and do that and then I'll just have a nice chilled evening. So yeah, let's have a try on. Now it's time for the pre-mark haul, what I got today and also the nice seal item I got in Top Man, so yes. And as you can see, it is all in the Top Man bag because the bag's ripped. So I had to squish them all into the one bag I had. So let's go. So, first up, let's see what we have. Oh, some essentials. We just have some invisibles. And I got these in black because I'm going to start wearing these to work because I wear, you know, long black socks under my jeans. And sometimes that can be quite warm, so I got some invisibles to change it up and, you know, not make it as warm. 
and they were four pound for a pack of five so always good to have some socks in your life uh, we'll set everything over here um, next up so some of these items I saw on TikTok hauls and some of these items I just saw so yes um, so this item I saw on a TikTok and I was like I need those they are these gorgeous lemon printed pyjama shorts which I am obsessed with they are the light and airy sort of pyjama material which makes it really comfortable to sleep in. I got them in the size small because my waist sort of varies in Primark. It'll either be a size 10 to 12 or 12 to 14. So I got the pyjama shorts in a small, a size 10 because um, I feel with, with like the material and the way you can tie it, they'll be fine. So yep, got those. They were three pound. So yep, one of the favorite items. So I've got you, so I am so excited to go and try these on, so let's go. So guys, here are the lemon shorts, they must have item, and yep, love them, they feel so comfy, and unlike the jersey shorts, in the way that they had the more adjustable fastener, um, these ones in the small are perfectly fine. This adjuster is just decoration, it doesn't actually adjust it, but perfectly fine for the small, so yeah. I would say either one's fine, either an 8 to 10 or a 10 to 12, so yes. So love the lemon shorts, again I'll probably have that with a white t-shirt, and yeah, loving those. So staying on that topic of pyjamas, next up we then have these oh, gorgeous khaki green jersey pyjama shorts, and I love the colour, so nice. I got them in a medium just because the tie in the middle is a lot more um, elasticated than the lemon ones so I feel like pulling them tighter would make them fit a wee bit better so I got them in the bigger size to be safe um, and also with the material of the jersey I thought go safe with the medium they were 250 so you can't go wrong for 250 so yeah let's go and try these ones on so guys here are the green khaki shorts and they are super, super comfy. I love them so much. They are perfectly fine in the medium. Like, I have them pulled in and tied and they feel perfectly fine. They're not gonna fall down or anything like that. And yeah, I could probably even wear these like to chill in because, you know, just throw a cardigan on on top, white t-shirt, there you go. And yes, I probably will wear a white t-shirt with these and that will bring out the white at the bottom. So yeah, definitely would recommend these um, for bedtime and for loungewear. So yeah, all good. Next up then, we have the grey version. Obviously, grey is my colour, well one of my colours. So when I saw them there, I just had to get the grey version. And again, for 250 you can't go wrong. So I got the grey version, again in the size medium. And yeah, let's go and now try the grey ones on. So guys, here is then the grey versions. Again, love the feel because of the jersey material. They're so comfy. Again, sizing is grand with the fastener. And yep, again, probably a white t-shirt. Bring out the white in the bottom. So yes, all happy with the jersey shorts. Would recommend those. Moving on now to accessories. I love how I've thrown them all into like different layers whenever you organize this bag. So yes. <laughs> so first up then, this would have to be one of, again, my favorite items. It is this seat belt buckle belt and it was five pound and it was on the mannequin on top of a denim boiler suit. So as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, that would look so good with my boiler suit. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try this on with the boiler suit for you. So yes, let's go and try it on. And guys, here is the seat belt buckle belt, which I put with my boiler suit, which is what it was matched with on the mannequin, which drew me to it. So I love the belt. I think I'll wear this with other outfits as well. And yeah, you just basically keep adjusting it, obviously, until you are comfortable with it. And then you can do the side knot if you have a lot of extra belt, which is what happens in my case because I have a lot of extra belt because I have no waist but I do I really like it I love how it looks with the suit gives it that wee bit of something extra so yes I am very pleased with the belt. 
So, then we have, oh, it's like Mary Poppins bag in here. What is, what is next? Oh, these gorgeous, like, beaded rings, um, gem rings, beaded rings. You've got a red one, and then you've got a wee thin gold one, and then you've got the rainbow one, thin gold, and then green. So you can sort of, like, layer them up. I think they'd be really good. Oh, my goodness, they're stuck. Um, for pride and for holidays. So I love those. They were £2 for the five rings, which is quite decent. And I got them in a size medium because my fingers are quite chubby. My Pandora rings are like a 56. So yes, I love those. They were again on TikTok. So I will cut these open and try these on for you. So let us go. Rings, guys. I have the red, green and the wee gold one on my first finger and then I have the rainbow and the other wee one on my middle and they feel really good. Um, I think I would probably do three and two because if you do all five on the one finger you won't be able to bend it so I will probably do the rainbow and this wee one on my left hand and then put the other three on my other but just so I could show you I've got all of them on this hand and they look really nice. So they'll be my go-to rings now. So next up then we have the, oh, the No Angel Highlighter. I saw this on TikTok. It was 3 50 and I've already opened it because I wanted a sneak peek. So I will show it to you, but I won't put it on right now. There is what it looks like. A really nice glittery, like lilac-y color or it's pink, I'm not sure. But I just thought it was really, really pretty for, you know, going out and that sort of thing. So yeah, and it's got wee mirror as well, so it's almost like a compact. And it's got wee heart designs in the highlight, which I love. So that is very pretty. So I got that. I'll just put that to the side. Next then we have this really gorgeous diamonded cuff. I got this because I thought it would look really nice with my choker and then if it did look too much you could then wear it just on its own and it would glam up any of my outfits. So yes it was £2 and I just saw this in general and when I did I was like must have you. So yep let's go and oh my days there's like so much packaging on this. So much packaging for one little cuff I don't know if you can see on both sides. So yeah let's figure our way into it and try it on. So guys, here is then the cuff, and it is super sparkly, which we all know I love sparkles. And it's not too bad to get on and off either, you just obviously pull it on and pull it off. So yes, I think I might just wear this on its own with an outfit instead of with the choker, as that might be a wee bit much. But yeah, in love with the cuff. Next, we have... A set of tweezers but they're really pretty tweezers from the new summer collection and they were 150 for two which I think again is decent two different sizes I would say one for eyebrow and then one for just general use possibly so yeah so I got those I obviously don't need to try them on um, but yep they are the tweezers very nice so next up then we have oh, the actual top man item that I got, that I had to then obviously mix in with all the Primark stuff. So the top man item that I got is, oh, this really lush, like caramelly brown polo shirt. And it's got a zip design on the collar, which is what made it stand out to me. And I love the design on it as well. And my chinos that I wore to London that I have, and it's got like the brown uh, pinstripes on it I think would look really nice with this so yes I got this in a size small because in top man I am like a gnome and a dwarf compared to their sizes so I literally have to get everything in the extra small and small so this will probably still drown me lengthwise but you know it's cute and it was it was 25 quid down to eat like look at that guys 25 down to 15 down to 8 so I think I scored that at the very right time so love this let's go and try this on so guys here is then my top man purchase and I have matched it with obviously the chinos because it's got the brown stripes in it but I really really love this I think this is a really nice outfit and I'd wear this probably a night out going out for dinner going to the theater I love how everything's going to the theater so yes love this I'm loving the zip detail you know just 
pull it down like that and then mm. go, hey. So, yeah, love this. And it's very, very comfy as well. It's a nice material. So, yes, love how they complement each other. And, yeah, very nice. Next up, from our Mary Poppins bag of wonder, we have, ah, just a little Primark 90p lippy, because you can never go wrong with a 90p lippy from Primark. And it's the Luster named, and I think it's like a rose, is it a rose shade? Or, oh, it's the barely there shade, but I absolutely love my nudes, so I got that. So, yep. Um, very cute. Then we have, oh, oh another favourite, saw them on TikTok. We have these gorgeous earrings. I love the rainbow colouring. I love how extra they are. And they were £3. Again, only need one, but hey, it's always great to have a backup, like I always say. So I love these. These are absolutely stunning. I'm thinking these for like dining out, theatre, going out earrings. Um, so yes, so excited to try these on. So guys, here is the earring, and it's quite heavy, but that was sort of expected from an earring like this. But I love how it shines under the light, and I'll probably use this earring for more going to the theatre, dinner, because I feel like it's a wee bit extra for every day, but then again, we know me, I'll probably wear the diamond cuff every day, so yeah, who knows. But I do really like the earring when it is on, so yeah, I love a dangle, love a good dangle. So yes. Next, we have these, which are the favourite items of the haul. They are these gorgeous pink coloured faux leather sandals. I absolutely love these guys, honestly. I got these in a size five. They were eight pound. And definitely for shoes, I feel like in Primark I'm a size 5 because I I range between a 5 to a 7. 7 in boots and six, 5 to 6 in shoes. Um, but I put the 5 up against the 6 and there was a lot of room difference in the toe part. So I got them in a 5. I really hope they fit. But I'm absolutely obsessed with these. And obviously these would have been great for London. But, you know, they'll be perfect for just pottering around the house in. So... Let's go and try these on. So guys, here are the sandals on and I absolutely love them. They are so comfy, so nice and they fit really well because obviously at the back there's no fascinator or adjustment but they're a size 5 and they feel really nice and fit perfectly. There's the top and the back. So I still have a wee bit of heel room there at the back. So yeah, I absolutely love them, especially with black jeans. So hopefully with my blue ones, they should look really nice as well. So yeah, love the sandals. That will be perfect. So next guys, we have then this really cute Marie makeup bag and I got it for two quid in the reduction. So I'm so happy with that. And it's just really cute. So I got it thinking, you know, I'd, I'd use it, but if it comes up as a, like, birthday present idea or a Christmas present idea, then I would totally use it as a present for someone because it's super cute. And you can say no to two pounds. So I, I got it and thought, you know, it will come in useful for someone when the time comes. So, yes. And if I decide to keep it for myself, that is all good too. And last, but certainly not least, we have these. gorgeous gym leggings because I go to the gym so much. They were £10. I got them in the size medium because I was worried that the small waist with them being so elasticated would be quite small whenever you put them on. So I got them in the medium to be on the safe side but I love the design. It's like exploding paint marks you know all over them. So I love those. So I got them for more just lounging about in and throwing on when you need to go down to the shop with an oversized t-shirt. So love these. Let's go and try them on. And maybe it might change my mind about going to the gym because I look amazing. So guys, here are the workout leggings. I've just tucked my shirt in so you can see the top part. And they are really comfy and like 
nice and elasticated, you know, for all that working out I'll be doing. But I'm in love with the pattern and yeah, they're just really nice and comfy. And I'll probably just wear these for throwing on to go to the shop or to lounge in, you know, and add a bit of colour to my bland outfits, you know. So yeah, and um, lengthwise, which is really hard for me because I'm such a short person, lengthwise they actually do fit really nicely. It's not like I have to turn them up a lot of the time, like with my jeans. So yeah, length is perfect. These are the medium again, so I'm happy that I got them in the medium because the small maybe would be that wee bit shorter. So yes. Workout leggings are a nice purchase. So guys, that is everything in my Primark haul and my Top Man haul. So I hope you enjoyed having a wee nosy at them. And if you've any questions on anything, you know, the sizes or if there's any other styles, do please comment below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you with the answer. I did get a few other things. I got, you know, mum some things and Sophie some things. I got mum a nail, nail polish and some nice pyjamas and I got Sophie some pyjamas and a sweatshirt. But I didn't really include them because it wasn't what I got myself. So yeah, but I'll maybe show you like a wee picture just so you can see. Um, and again, I can answer any questions on those. So that's what I got myself. I'm quite happy with it because the total came to like £35 and everything there I will use and I needed, you know, like pyjamas, the leggings, the sandals, I really needed some nice new sandals for summer when that eventually comes. So yes, anything that you want answered, please do comment below. And yeah, I will see you all later on. Hello guys, so I'm now just in my room, headband on. I have played with Crunchy, I've watched some TV with Sophie. We have now, well, Sophie has moved on to watching Shadowhunters for a third time. So, yes, I probably, I'll probably watch my favourite episodes from it, but I probably won't watch this full season. So, yes. Um, so that was that. This evening was pretty chill. I'm wearing my new jersey khaki shorts. Very comfy. So, yeah, and honestly, guys, I'll probably just go to bed like this. So, yeah, because, again, I'm really comfy and, yeah, I think I will. So, won't be getting changed. We'll just be going to bed dressed like this. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah, that everything is okay with you and your families and we should be getting back to some normality in the next few weeks. So yes. So just curl up here for the minute. Oof. So guys, yes. Um, Going back to what I said earlier in the day, keeping it brief, we had one big Primark. Sadly, it burnt down a few years ago. Um, and it basically, it was a historical building. It burnt to the ground, leaving just the shell of the old building, which was quite sad for a lot of people because it was like an old first built building. Like... It was there since the beginning of Belfast. So with that then, Primark had to re-figure out what they were going to do. Because they were just in the middle of doing a complete makeover, adding in the Primark hair salon and cafe that England have. So what they were able to do was salvage the back of Primark, the original. So they kept that as the full women's Primark. Then they took over the old New Look building, which was actually owned by them, and they turned that into their home at Children and Men's Primark. So we have two Primarks now, and obviously the main home one is a wee bit smaller, women's one is a lot bigger. So yeah, it just means we have two Primarks to go to. So you can go, I'm going to Primark, which one? Both. So yeah, that's what happened to our Primark. Just thought I would let you know. And yes, very good day. Got everything that I would like, would that I wanted. Got everything that I wanted. I got everything that was on my list. Got some things for mom and Sophie. Wasn't really anything for dad, so I just bought my chocolate bar when I got home. Um. Oh, excuse me. And he was very happy with the chocolate bar. So yes. I am happy now that I've been to Primark, all was good, so I am going to try everything on tomorrow, 
and yeah yeah i'll try everything on tomorrow and show you and then you can see what it's like on me the gym wear the shirt the sandals the jewelry so yeah that'll do i'll try everything on for you tomorrow so yes that is grand guys i will go to bed now and see you tomorrow hope you enjoyed my pre-mart vlog it was very good being back it felt amazing to be in and yeah as i said in the train completely fine set up um i just felt like a regular day in pre-mart just with a few different precautions so yeah and all in all a very good day night